All right, let's take you back to that West Park Cemetery now with our reporter, Junia Kumala, who joins us now live. Uh, Junia, good afternoon to you. So, uh, Aziz Pahad now being laid to his final resting place. Uh, yes, Clement. Um, Aziz Pahad is now being laid to his final resting place after um, some moving uh, eulogies by the president, by uh, Minister in the Presidency, Kosazana Damini Zuma, and his former friend, uh, uh, former ambassador, Weli Lenshapo. They spoke um, a lot about the work that he did when he was in exile. So um, the, the, most of the tributes were in three parts. The work that he did when he was in exile, the work that he did leading up to uh, the negotiations into democracy and as well as the work that he did as uh, a deputy minister. So when he was in exile, um, Gosozana Damini Zuma spoke about when she was in her 20s, she moved uh, to London where she was mentored by Mr. Aziz Pahad, uh, who took her in uh, in 1976, I think she said, and uh, groomed her in terms of uh, fighting uh, um, against the, the apartheid government when they were in in London and uh, he moved also from London to Angola and Zambia and uh, there he also served in the ANC's National Executive Committee and played a crucial role in the negotiations when it comes to um, the unbanning of the ANC as well as the release of former President Nelson Mandela. As, and after that he also uh, moved into cabinet and was a deputy minister from 1994 until uh, 2008. So uh, President Ramaphosa spoke about how he played a critical role in shaping the foreign policy of South Africa in that role. Uh, and Gosazana Jamini Zuma spoke about how uh, as uh, she was in exile, she was mentored by the same Pahad, but when uh, cabinet uh, was convened and uh, former President Nelson Mandela announced his cabinet as well as Ta um, former President Thabo Mbeki announced their cabinet, she was made the international relations minister, while Pahad, who mentored her in in uh, the struggle years was the, mini uh, the deputy minister. He said despite uh, him being his, uh, her deputy, he played a crucial role in assisting her with uh, shaping South Africans' foreign policy. And um, even after he left uh, active po uh, politics, he apparently continued in a role where he guided the ANC and told uh, ANC leaders when he thought the party was uh, not uh, performing uh, to the standards that uh, the older leaders of the ANC uh, thought it would perform. And right now, just behind me, you see a lot of people gathered around um, the gravesite where Pahad is uh, being laid to rest. Uh, we see uh, the former president, the Khalima Moklante, is uh, walking out with... Um, uh, with the Premier, Banyaza Le Sufi, um, there are other ANC dignitaries and family members as well who are also uh, just uh, engaging and, uh, I guess, talking about the life of uh, the late uh, Pahad Clement. So we, we heard from the politicians, uh, Junior, around the role that is played in, as you say, develop that foreign policy, the role is played in the African National Congress as well. But how has his own family remembered him because as much as he was this uh, astute diplomat, uh, this great political leader within the ANC ranks, he was also a family man. So how have his loved ones in his immediate family remembered him? Indeed, Clement, we got a glimpse of um, the type of person that he is, he was as a family man. Um, his son, Sam, uh, spoke very highly of his father, uh, saying that he was a, a serious human being as a politician, but when it comes to his family, he was a very hilarious character. He spoke about an incident where his father and former President Nelson Mandela went to visit the Queen at Buckingham Palace, and Mr. Pahad called him and said, um, I am in London, please come and visit me. Sam asked him, which hotel uh, are you staying in? And he said, I'm staying at Buckingham Palace. To his surprise, he was uh, staying at Buckingham Palace, uh, where the Queen and the, the the royal family resides and he just told us about how uh, he went there unprepared, uh, dressed in sneakers, dressed in jeans and his father was uh, laughing at him the way he appeared. Uh, so he spoke very highly about the type of father that he was saying that as much as he played a very uh, serious role in politics, he was a very uh, loving, caring father who uh, loved 
his children and also loved his uh, family that he had left in South Africa. He said um, during the time in exile, uh, Pahad missed his family dearly. As we know, he only returned to South Africa in 1990 um, as an NEC member of the ANC at the time and played a crucial role in uh, the negotiations that led to the unbanning of the ANC, uh, Clement. Mm -hmm. Well, Junior Kumalo. Uh, thank you. Live to us from the West Park uh, Cemetery, as you can see, that's where uh, the former Deputy Minister Aziz Pahad is being laid to his final resting place.